notebooks because who doesn't need notebooks I mean if you're in kindergarten or if you're in college everyone needs notebooks the first one we're gonna be doing is this triangle tumbler inspired notebook so the first thing you want to do is find some pictures to use on this notebook I found mine by scrolling through my tumbler and picking out some beachy and pastel things that I had reblogged when I found a picture I liked I dragged it to my desktop and put it in a file to print at CVS once your pictures are printed out, it's time to cut them into triangles. I'm using this little piece of paper for reference just to make sure that I cut them all into the same size triangle. I cut all but six of my pictures into triangles, but we'll get back to those ones later. I'm arranging my triangles onto the front of the notebook just to make sure they all fit perfectly. I'm also moving around and organizing the triangles just to make sure that the aesthetic looks good and all the pictures look good next to each other. Now with the six leftover pictures, I'm cutting little right triangles to fit in the spots where the triangles don't meet. I'm just kind of guessing with how big they are and then going back with the scissors and cutting a little bit more until it fits perfect. When I was organizing the little ones, Bruiser came up and interrupted. I guess she wanted to have a little cameo on this DIY, so there's your 10 seconds of fame, Bruiser. Now that everything is arranged perfectly, I'm gonna be securing it with some Mod Podge. You just wanna brush an even layer of the glue onto the back and then press it into place. Repeat that step with every picture and that's it, you're done. I love the way this came out. I think it is so cute. I'm totally gonna use this all year. And I love that I got to use some of my favorite pictures from Tumblr. If you wanna make it even more personal, you can always use some of your own pictures or use some pictures from your Instagram. My second DIY notebook is this little white idea notebook. Every year when I'm buying or making my school supplies, I always dedicate at least one notebook to just doodling and planning and writing little notes. I'm starting off with just a plain colored notebook. I got this one at Staples for literally like 50 cents. This is a super cheap DIY. Then I'm just taping the bind of the notebook with some blue painter's tape so that it won't get painted with the rest of the notebook. Cover the entire surface of the notebook in a few coats of paint, and then you are all ready with your base. I'm taking this feather stencil that I got on Amazon and taping it to the front cover. You could use any kind of stencil. I just thought the feather was kind of indie and tumbler-y. So I'm taking some gold paint and just pressing it onto the stencil. Once it's all painted, pull off the painter's tape, take off the stencil, and you have a beautiful little design. On the cover of the notebook, I'm also taking a black marker and writing dreams and schemes. I've made similar notebooks like this and written quotes or written my name and it all comes out super cute. It's really just up to you. The third DIY notebook is this chalkboard notebook. It works just like a regular chalkboard. You can write on it and erase it and it is literally the simplest DIY I have ever done. All you're gonna do is take a regular notebook and cover it with black chalkboard paint. I do a few coats just to make sure that none of the color seeps through. Let it dry and it's done. 
this is one of my favorite DIYs because it's super simple. It takes literally zero crafting skill or coordination, and it's super fun to play with during class. And that is it for the notebooks. Now that all of our notebooks are done, let's make some bookmarks to mark the oh so important pages in our books. This is another really simple DIY. So all I'm doing is taking a colored paper clip, adding a little bit of hot glue to the top, and then pressing a button onto it. I did this with about 20 or so paper clips and this is honestly the most convenient and useful DIY ever. It's perfect for marking important pages in your textbook or important dates in your planner. The next DIY is this little rotating supplies organizer. I just think this is so cute and it looks adorable on my desk. This is definitely one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. So first, you're gonna need this little rotating disc. It's called a Lazy Susan. I got mine on Amazon. And you're gonna cover that with Mod Podge or any other crafting glue. Once it's covered, take a piece of fabric of any color and press it over the top. One of the things I love about this DIY is that it's totally customizable. You can choose a fabric color that matches your decor perfectly. Then just smooth out all the edges so that there's no air bubbles. And once that's done, I'm taking an X-Acto knife and just cutting off all around the edges. And that is it. As you can see, it's super easy and super simple. Now for the mason jars. I got a bunch of little different jars in different sizes and we're just gonna be designing those and using those to hold the school supplies. For the first mason jar, I just glued two pieces of ribbon together and then glued that ribbon to the middle of the base. For the second jar, I just put some hot glue on a piece of white lace and then wrapped it around the top, through the middle, and again around the bottom. For the third jar, I just got this little like cork bottle thing from Michaels and then I'm wrapping a piece of ribbon around the middle. This next jar is definitely my favorite. So I took a thin piece of yellow ribbon and wrapped it around the center. Then I'm taking another piece of ribbon and I'm making a little bow to put on the outside. So I'm gluing two of the pieces together like this. Then I'm taking the center of that piece, squeezing it into the middle and securing it with glue. Glue the bow onto the side of the jar and there you go. For the last little jar, I'm just doing something really simple, taking a piece of burlap ribbon and wrapping it around the jar. Add the mason jars to the spinner, add some supplies to the mason jars, and you have yourself a perfect little DIY desk organizer. And I love that mine came out looking kind of Pinteresty. That's another really fun part about this one is that you can pick whatever ribbon colors and fabric colors you want to make it match your desk perfectly. The next DIY is more of a room decor, but I used it to decorate my desk area. It's just these little Polaroid-esque Instagram pictures, and I hung them from Christmas lights, which I think is just an adorable way to display any pictures. So I started off by just printing out some of my Instagram pictures that I've been loving. I don't know, but I think my feed has kind of been on point lately. If you wanna go check out my Instagram, you totally should. It's at Schultze. Follow me, I'll follow you guys back. I love looking at all of your adorable pictures. So I'm just starting out by cutting off the borders of all the pictures I printed directly from Instagram. And then the ones that I printed from my computer, I'm just cutting into little squares as well. Once all the pictures are cut out, I'm just gonna be making a little Polaroid inspired background. So I'm cutting a little rectangle out and then placing the picture in the center. You wanna make sure that there's a little bit more space at the bottom of the rectangle than the top because that's just the way a Polaroid looks. Then I'm taking some Mod Podge and gluing the picture onto the Polaroid rectangle. At the bottom of the picture, I'm just taking a Sharpie and writing a little something about each picture like the date it was taken or who it's of or what it was. This one is a picture from me and Steven's one year anniversary so I'm just writing that on the bottom and then putting the date. Once you've done that with all of the pictures, they're ready to be displayed. I had Steven help me hang up some Christmas lights over my desk, and then I'm just taking these little colorful clothespins from Target and hanging the Polaroid strips from the lights. And that's all there is to it. I love this. I think it's a super cute way to display your pictures, and it's oh so tumblery. I just think it's adorable, and it was really easy to do. Next on our DIY list is a super easy way to spruce up your mouse pad. 
I just had a plain black mouse pad before, so I'm taking the same piece of fabric that we used for the spinner, and I'm going to be covering the mouse pad in that. When you're using an X-Acto knife to cut, it's always important to put a piece of cardboard or something under the fabric so that you don't damage the surface. Once the fabric's cut, I'm just gluing the edges to the back of the mouse pad with some fabric glue, tucking in the corners so that it's a nice tight fit, and it's done. I would totally recommend using the same fabric on the mouse pad and the spinner because it looks super cute and coordinated. And I was a little bit worried about the mouse pad maybe not working as well, but it seriously works just the same as before. This next DIY is a pretty common one. I got it off Pinterest, so we're just going to be covering the letters on our keyboard in some colored washi tape. So I got this big thing of pastel colored washi tape from Michaels, and I picked out five colors that I liked. Then I'm just arranging little squares of that washi tape in a totally random pattern on my keyboard. This is another DIY that's super easy, anyone can do it, and I just love the way it came out. It makes my desk look so much more colorful. I also used washi tape to touch up a couple other things on my desk. I added some to my external hard drive, the base of my computer, and my laptop stand. You can really easily add washi tape to anything to make it a little bit more personalized, and it also doesn't leave a residue, so when you decide to take it off, it'll come off super easily. And for the last DIY, I'm adding some glittered washi tape in different patterns to my pencils to make them a little bit more unique and personalized, and then no one can get away with stealing your pencils again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you try out any of these DIYs, be sure to tag me in it on Twitter or Instagram. And don't forget to leave me all of your questions about high school down in the comments. We'll see you next